all animals have their special characteristics and features. Some are known for or even named after a certain feature. That's true for many of the animals in today's video. In this video, we're going to look at eight animals who share the characteristic of having just one horn. Some animals on today's video use their horn to protect themselves, while others use them to hunt for and kill prey. Interestingly, a few of the animals on this list have baffled scientists for decades. They can't figure out why these animals have a horn. On this video, we're going to discover eight animals with one horn and what they use it for. Number eight. The Indian rhinoceros, or Rhinoceros unicornis, makes the list due to the large horn on its snout. Its horn can measure eight to 25 inches in length and is a mixture of keratin and hair. Incidentally, a human's fingernails are also made out of keratin. This rhino has a few purposes for its single horn. It uses its single horn to intimidate predators and threats. These rhinos have a mild nature and want to avoid a battle, so they lower their heads to the ground and charge in the general direction of a predator to show dominance. The threat could be another rhinoceros or perhaps a tiger. In many cases, the other animal is scared off by the charging rhino. They are fast and tough, but if the predator remains, the rhino uses its single horn to defend itself against attack. Its horn is a sharp, effective, defensive weapon. Rhinos rub their horn on the ground and on trees, which scrapes away a soft exterior layer of the horn, leaving sharp edges behind. Not surprisingly, its horn can cause serious or deadly injury to another rhino or tiger. Indian rhinos sometimes use their one horn for digging in the hard soil in search of vegetation to eat. It's also used to dig into dry creek beds in search of water. Female rhinos use their horn to direct their young calves through the grassland habitat. Number seven, the rhinoceros beetle. A rhinoceros beetle gets its name from the large single horn on its head. This insect has a brown or gray exterior and can measure up to six inches long. It lives in areas all over the world except the continent of Antarctica. This insect is also known as the Hercules beetle because of its great strength. They can lift twigs, vegetation, and other objects over 800 times their size. What do these beetles use their horn for? Well, it has a few purposes. Male rhinoceros beetles use their horn to fight other males when competing for females. In addition, these beetles use their horn to dig through piles of leaves and other debris on the ground. If a rhinoceros beetle feels threatened, it can use its horn to dig into the soil and hide until the threat is gone. Number six on our list, the cassowary. The first thing you notice about a cassowary is the bright blue, red, and purple of the skin on its neck. The second thing you notice is the large horn atop its head. This horn is also called a cask. It has an inner layer of soft, spongy material and an outer layer of keratin. If you were to squeeze its horn, it would be soft in its middle portion. How exactly does the cassowary use its one horn? The answer, scientists are not sure. One theory is this bird bends its head and uses its horn to move through the dense vegetation and huge leaves in its tropical forest habitat in Australia. Another theory is a cassowary's horn is a sign of the maturity or dominance of a bird. Both males and females have this single horn, though females usually have a larger one. Coming in at number five, the horned silkworm. The horned silkworm is a brightly colored caterpillar. This caterpillar turns into a silkworm moth. It has one horn on the tail end of its body. Though it appears to be a sharp horn, it is very soft and bendable. This one horn serves an important purpose for this small insect. As you may have guessed, this caterpillar is at risk of being gobbled up by many predators. Birds, spiders, and paper wasps are just a few of the animals that eat horned silkworms. Its horn serves as a sign for predators to keep away. The predator may be deterred by what it thinks is a sharp horn that will hurt if it tries to eat the silkworm. Do horned silkworms fool a lot of predators into leaving them alone? Yes. This is why the population of this silkworm has continued to flourish. Coming in at number four, the unicorn fish. There are several species of unicorn fish. Some of those species have a horn growing out of the front of their head. Though these fish are named after an imaginary creature, they are very real. Its horn can be as long as two and a half inches, 
But keep in mind that this fish's body can measure two feet long or more. They live in warm tropical waters off the coasts of Africa and Hawaii. Specifically, they have a coral reef habitat. So why does a fish need a horn in the ocean? Unfortunately, scientists have not been able to figure out why unicorn fish have a horn. They know these fish don't use their horn aggressively. Instead, they have spines on their tail fin that they use to defend themselves. They are called tail blades because they are very sharp. Unicorn fish also can change color, which can help them blend into their environment when a predator approaches. Though its practical purpose is unclear, its horn has given this fish a cool name. On our list at number three, the rhino horned lizard. The rhino horned lizard is a small reptile measuring several inches long, including its tail. This animal has one horn on the end of its nose and is about two thirds the length of its head. It lives in the trees of Sri Lanka. Like other animals on this list, scientists are not in agreement on the purpose of this lizard's horn. It may help these creatures to dig for, capture, and kill the insects in their diet, or it may discourage predators from catching this lizard and eating it. No matter its purpose, the one horn on a rhino horned lizard is its most notable feature. Number two, the Sayola. Have you ever heard of the Sayola? The answer is probably no. This is because the Sayola is also called the Asian unicorn and is very rarely seen. This small deer can only be found in Vietnam. Its existence was discovered just three decades ago in 1992. While most deer have two horns or antlers, the Sayola has just one short horn between its ears on the top of its head. The rarity of this mammal has made it very difficult for scientists to study, so the purpose of its one horn is unknown. The International Union for the Conservation of Nature's Red List of Threatened Species has listed the Sayola as critically endangered. And topping off our list at number one, the Norwal. When you think of a well, you probably don't picture one with a spiraled horn sticking out of the front of its head, but that's exactly what a Norwal looks like. As a note, its one horn is actually a tooth, but since it looks a lot like a horn, the Norwal has made the list. Its horn can be up to 10 feet in length. Furthermore, these sea creatures can grow to more than 17 feet long and weigh 4,200 pounds. They live in frigid Arctic bodies of water around Greenland, Russia, Norway, and Canada. Its one horn contains millions of nerve endings that direct the Norwal through Arctic waters as it searches for squid, crabs, fish, and other prey. This way of searching for food is a type of echolocation using its horn to sense what is in its dark environment. Once the Norwal finds a squid or fish, it sometimes smashes it with its horn. This stuns the prey long enough for the Norwal to capture it. In addition, a male Norwal uses its horn aggressively when battling with other males for a female during the breeding season. Though it's mostly males that have this horn, some female Norwals have them too. If you enjoyed the video today, please press like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.